This is part one for the HO model. We're going to set up in this video the uh, model for home and row, assuming that we are in autarky. So if you want to see how trade works in the HO model, you'll have to go to the next video. This one's just going to look at autarky. So let's set up our two countries. We got home on this side, and we can put home there, and row on this side. I'll put row there. Let me move these skateboards. And then I can put apples on this axis, and this is row apples, and then oranges here, and oranges here. So let's start out by looking at home. We know countries are endowed differently. That's one of the ingredients for trade, is we have differences in endowment. We have to have that. Differences in endowment. So let's assume that home is really good at making oranges. Maybe home is on the equator and row is up north somewhere and they're really good at making apples. Warm weather is good for oranges, cold weather is good for apples. And if that's true, then we get a, a, a skewed or a slanted production possibility curve. I'm going to call that PPC0. Okay, we're not going to change that, but it's good practice to call it PPP0. And then from there, we're going to wind up with a indifference curve. You know, these are homothetic, so we catch the furthest one out that we can get. I'm going to call that I0. And then from that, we wind up with this interesting point right here. This interesting point is the optimal combination of apples and oranges in home. So if home doesn't trade, they are going to produce that many oranges, and they're going to consume that many oranges. And if home doesn't trade, so they're in autarky, they're going to produce that many apples, and they're going to consume that many apples. And from that, we're going to wind up with a price line, and that price line goes like this. It's the line that's tangent to both of those points. It cuts through, if I drew it right, it would cut through that point and that point only. So this is going to be price line, and I'm going to put an A next to that, and that means price line in autarky. And from there, we can take the slope of that line, and we can find out that the fall, or the rise, which is negative, is relatively big, right? That's a steep line like this. So if you want one apple, you have to give up more than one orange. Maybe it's a couple oranges. And that should make sense to you. At home, we're good at making oranges, so we have a lot of them. We're not good at making apples. So there aren't very many around. You want an apple, you're going to have to give up some oranges. Okay? In other words, apples are expensive, oranges are cheap in home, while in autarky. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. And the only difference is we're going to have a difference in endowments. So row is good at making apples instead of oranges. So you get that. The production possibility curve is pushed out. And we'll call that PPPC, production possibility curve, zero star. Noting again that the stars just mean that that's the row market. All right. And then from there, we get an indifference curve. We catch the furthest one out we can. Let me see if I can draw a decent looking indifference curve. It's going to look something like that, and that's going to be I0 star. And then we wind up with this optimal combination, which is this point right here. That's the best that they're going to do. They can't reach an indifference curve that's further out than that. So if that's true, then in autarky, then PA, A means apples, PA star is going to equal CA star. They're going to make that many apples, and they're going to eat them all. And then here you're going to have... PO star equals CO star. O stands for oranges. So they're going to make that many oranges and they're going to consume that many oranges. And then from that we wind up with a price line. And again that price line cuts through just like this and catches that point, that tangent point there. I'm going to call that PLA, A for autarky, star. Star means we're in row. And then the last point I want to make on this video is look at the slope on that line. Okay? Here, the rise, in this case it's negative, it's always going to be negative for the price line, uh, is small relative to this. Okay? You can flip those arrows around and say, if I want to buy an orange, I've got to give up a lot of apples. And that should make sense. There's tons of apples in row. We're good at making them over there. There's not very, very many oranges. So if you want an orange, you've got to give up a lot of apples. So here, apples are cheap. Here, apples are expensive. Somebody's going to figure that out. And when they figure that out, they're going to engage in arbitrage. And that are the, is the two ingredients that sets the stage for trade. Ingredients for trade. You have to have this. If you don't have these two things, 
you're not going to have trade. Differences in endowment, so if something's cheap here and, and expensive here or vice versa, you got to have differences in endowment and then you got to have some entrepreneur that says, I'm going to move these goods back and forth and make a profit on it. And that's how you get trade in the HO model.